Coach Mitchell made one change in his starting lineup, which played last week against Liberia by replacing Chizito Luaga with Moses Soloya. Both teams offered a promising game in the first half and they came close at times. This trouble for the Uganda Cranes. Long point inside. Robert Odokara. Who some bit of fumbling here from Robert and from the Uganda Cranes. In the second know, half, Angola, Angola proved a point as they brought Tali Uganda Tali to the wall. And in the 50th minute, what their talisman Ricardo Estav produced a classic Tali finish as Angola much to the jubilation of the few traveling Angola fans. And as the game was left with less than 20 minutes of playing time, it was Uganda's Emmanuel Okui who passed the late fitness test to make to the game to show some magic. Okwe's cross from the right flank wickedly carved in the net past Angolan goalkeeper Hugo Marquez. <laughs> With the game level at one all, it required yet another piece of magic. Coach Mitchell made some changes which saw Robert Sentongo and Martin Motumba introduced in the game. Uganda's quest for a winner immediately began as they passed with neatness and fluency before her Miss Diego Chiza, who came in for Moses Soloya, was brought down at the edge of the box. Angola's Fabrico Mafuta saw the red card for his actions, leaving Angola down to 10 men. The cranes revamped again, and it was Tene Maweje who headed in a spab header near post from Emmanuel Oki's effort, sending a fully packed Namboli Stadium in jubilation as sound of Ovzelas filled the air. Uganda will thus travel to West Africa for their last qualification game against Senegal later this year. Samuel Senono, UBC News.